My name is uh, Eric Bramwell. I was a sergeant uh, in the Airborne Infantry out of Alaska. Uh, I served uh, in Iraq for about 15 months. Just in this last year, I got introduced to uh, Wounded Warrior and uh, through Sycamore Lane Therapeutic Riding Center. Uh, just being with these horses has just been such a huge, uh, huge benefit just in my life. I, I can't even explain just that there's something that happens between the rider and the horse uh, that where I could be having the worst day ever, and, uh, anxiety, depression, don't want to do a thing and I'll come here uh, and spend some time here with uh, some of these horses, man, and, and by the time I leave, I'm relaxed, uh, I'm mellow, I can think again, uh, and I feel like I've actually done something worthwhile with my day. Uh, so for me, that's been a huge, huge blessing being able to come out here and work with not only the horses, but with other veterans and, and a lot of these kids. This here is Ven. Uh, Ven's one of our uh, Fjord horses. It's one of our favorites here. We have a, a bunch of different horses. Uh, they all have to go through a, a screening process when they come here because we can't just take any horse off the street. Um, they have to be screened for a period of time just to make sure that uh, they're not gonna buck or kick or, or do anything that can endanger any of these kids. And we wanna make sure they have the best you know, available ride for them that they can have. Whether you know a lot or you don't know anything, it doesn't matter. We'll start you from the ground up and work with you. And with the veterans, we really learn to uh, relate to the horse, really, to observe how the horse reacts uh, with our own feelings and, and what we feel. There would be months where you would never see me get out of my room. Like, uh, just the depression was so bad. Uh, the anxiety, the, the migraines, just the not wanting to be a part of society anymore just because I just didn't feel like I fit in, you know, I wasn't a part of something. And then coming out here now, I, I'm able to function, I'm able to talk, I, uh, I get out of my house, I do things, you know, and, and one of the huge things for them here was saying that they needed me, you know, knowing that you are needed again for me was just huge. That is definitely something I've learned since coming here is to learn to start trusting and opening up to, to others. Because for a while, I don't want to make any new friends because any new friend I had wound up dying. You know, so what was the point? You know, so coming here now, there's, there's that hope again. There's that hope that uh, I can build good, solid relationships with, uh, with people again and, and to move on in my life. If I can relate anything to any soldier out there, it's that you're not alone. And if you don't like people, that's cool, because we got horses here too, and, and they don't mind if it's just you and them. So get involved, get plugged in, man. And just the biggest thing is know that as a veteran, you're not alone. We're all dealing with issues, man. And it gets better with time. The only thing that's going to help is time. Just got to hang in there.